Hello and welcome to Talk Football. In this video, I will be talking about Rachel Van Dyke's hamstring injury that has occurred against Bradford, and I would also be talking about the time period in which Rachel Van Dyke is expected to return. So if you are into these kind of videos consider subscribing to this channel because I will be making a lot of videos regarding the injuries that at least suffer on the field. Virgil van Dyke was substituted out during the halftime break against Bradford and uh, Jurgen Klopp has said that uh, he has done this only as a source of precautionary mayor but uh, in the later interview he admitted that uh, Virgil van Dyke might have picked a hamstring injury and he might be out uh, of Liverpool squad for about one month and uh, I think that this is not the case and uh, Virgil van Dyke might be out of Liverpool squad for quite some while. So before I move forward, let us have a look what hamstring injury is and uh, to understand that I would try to explain what a hamstring muscle is. A hamstring muscle is present on the back side of your thigh and it is not just one muscle, it consists of group of three muscles and uh, it helps our leg to get flexed and these muscles consist of uh, bicep femoris and uh, semi tendinosis and semi membranosis so any of the strain or tearing in one of the muscles can cause uh, the hamstring injury to occur and uh, it is most commonly injured part of the thigh that uh, occurs in football players and uh, it has three grades and one a mild muscle pull or a strain a second a partial muscle tear and third a complete muscle tear so a hamstring injury often happens during certain powerful movements such as some printing lunging or jumping that overstretch your tendons or muscles uh, tendons means that uh, these are the portion the thick portion that connects the muscle to the bone and uh, the injury can also happen gradually during the slower movement but it is uh, the explosive movement that cause the injury of the hamstrings and uh, this injury is quite common in football players so now I would be talking about how much time would Virgil van Dijk would really be sitting on the sideline and as I have discussed the grades of hamstring injuries before and uh, I would like to start off with the grade 3 and uh, that is a severe hamstring tear uh, and uh, in that case uh, athlete would not be able to continue the game and uh, he would definitely be subbed off uh, with the help of a stretcher and uh, there would definitely be bruising on the back side of the thigh due to tear in the muscle and due to the blood loss and uh, I think that is not the case for that case athlete might be requiring surgery and uh, he won't be able to continue the sport uh, for about an year but it is not the case with Virgil van Dijk so now I would be moving on to a less severe hamstring injury uh, of grade 2 which is a partial hamstring tear and it is also a quite painful condition and uh, we might see some bit of bruising uh, and uh, we might see that uh, athlete might go out of the field limping and uh, I don't think that uh, this is the case with Virgil van Dijk and uh, he might not have suffered a great two injury but there are some bit of information uh, that are suggesting that he might be out for about uh, six months and uh, that is indeed a very concerning and uh, that might also suggest that uh, uh, that might also suggest that uh, Virgil van Dijk uh, might have this kind of tier a grade 2 tier but I don't think because we have seen him uh, walking off the page we have not seen any kind of limp in his uh, movement and uh, i hardly 
think that uh, Virgil van Dijk has suffered a grade 2 uh, hamstring tear. So now I will be talking about the grade 1 injury of uh, hamstring, a mild hamstring strain in which uh, there is no break in the continuity of the muscle fiber and uh, athlete might experience a sudden pain and tenderness at the back of his thigh uh, although it is a painful condition and uh, high performing athletes such as uh, Virgil van Dijk cannot afford to continue playing uh, on a high level with this kind of injury so I do think that uh, Richard Van Dyke might have suffered a great one hamstring injury and uh, he might be back uh, in one or two months and uh, he might be playing for Liverpool in upcoming in one to two months and uh, I, I really do think that uh, if he hasn't had a tear in his hamstring he might play for Liverpool in uh, upcoming uh, two months uh, but I really don't think that uh, he would be available after a single month and uh, his recovery would be requiring more than a single month and uh, I do really think that uh, it would be better uh, that uh, Jurgen Klopp do not risk him uh, playing so soon because uh, uh, this is a kind of injury that can define a player's career and Virgil van Dijk who is about 31 uh, years of age and uh, at this age if he uh, goes into a hamstring tear it would be very difficult for him to recover from such a devastating injury and uh, we have seen that Osman Dembele of FC Barcelona has suffered a same kind of injury and that injury uh, occurred again and again and again and the reason for this injury to occur again and again uh, is that uh, because uh, when a muscle is healed it also happens that uh, there is some scar tissue is built around that place and the scar tissue is not as that much flexible uh, is not as th uh, that much uh, uh, elastic uh, as uh, the original muscle and that's why due to lack of flexibility a lack of elasticity this injury can occur again so uh, I do really think that uh, Virgil van Dijk might not be able to play uh, for Liverpool uh, for another two months so I really do hope that uh, this injury this hamstring injury that uh, Virgil van Dijk has suffered might not be anything serious and uh, we will be seeing Virgil van Dijk in the red colors very soon so this is it from this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to this channel if you want to watch more content like this